We got on three rankings updates to talk about. We're going to talk about new five stars. There are five of them in the latest update. We're also talking big movers. I got director of scouting and ranking Charles Power here with me. He's been all over the place this summer, so we're going to talk. All right, let's get into the newly minted five stars and start with quarterback Matt Zowers. The Mizzou commit gets his fifth star. Yeah, Josh, Matt Zollers on film is the top playmaker that we saw uh, among this, this group of 2025 quarterbacks. He's a guy who has a dynamic, dynamic arm. He's a playmaker with his ability to move around, evade the rush, uh, make plays with his legs. We get to see him in person at the Elite 11 Finals. He showed those physical tools that we liked about him on film. I think he can, can continue cleaning up his consistency, but that's really par for the course for a, a multi-sport athlete. But there's no doubt he has high in potential. All right, and then we've seen Alabama stay red hot this summer. Michael Carroll, he's been one of their top commitments uh, in June. Uh, he's an interior offensive lineman, gets his fifth star in this update. Yeah, Josh, we talked about this offensive line cycle. It is the best I've evaluated. Michael Carroll moves up at, into our top spot on, interior, on the interior offensive line. Uh, this is a guy we've loved for a long time. He's a dynamic athlete, big-time run blocker, is, is really a two-way player in high school, makes a lot of flash plays as a defensive lineman, which we love to see. This is a guy who, while he's ranked as an interior lineman, could play all five spots. He's a big get for Alabama. All right, next up on the list is Isaiah Gibson. and We've talked about him a lot. Now, the number one edge in America – Finally gets his fifth star. A lot to like in Isaiah Gibson. Yeah, Isaiah Gibson it has freaky dimensions. We were able to measure him at the On3 Elite Series uh, in, in May, and this guy runs 6'3", 265 pounds, 35-inch arms, a 7'2 wingspan. So he is really just has a, a big-time translatable frame. He's a plus athlete at that size. Runs in the 4'7". So there's so many physical attributes about him that we love. And you turn on the film, and he's just playing on the edge at that size. I think he could – play edge in college so this guy is a big time pass rusher a guy who has the, the really the the size of a defensive lineman but the athleticism of an edge player all right staying on those guys with freaky athleticism we got andrew babalola one of the top offensive tackles in america now he's uncommitted is it going to be stanford is it going to be michigan auburn also involved but why is babalola now a five star upside. Andrew Babalola could have the highest upside among this historic offensive tackle group. He's a guy that we're going to look forward to seeing how he just continues to develop as a senior, but but you see the flashes on film. He has outstanding size, athleticism, uh, play strength. So there's a lot to, to like about Andrew Babalola, and he's a guy who I think his arrow is continuing to point up. All right, and Ohio State fans have a lot to like about their quarterback commitment. Tavian St. Clair, he gets his fifth star. What do we like about Tavian yeah. St. Clair? Tavian St. Clair, I, I think, just has so, such a great combination of projectable size at 6'4", 225. You see him, you know, just among this group in person, and he's the one who stands out physically. So I think, for starters, great size. And he's a smooth passer. Just really, like, clean mechanics. Ball comes out the same every time. You know, it's similar to Matt Zollers. We want to see him continue to make a jump as a senior just in live situations. But there's no question Tavian St. Clair has uh, just is one of the more gifted uh, passers in the cycle. All right. Now, those are the new five stars. You guys can go to on3.com for all the updates that took place in this rankings movement. But I want to hit on a couple big movers. And one of the big movers was quarterback Keelan Russell. The recent Alabama flip, he came from SMU, Moved up 43 spots. What did we see from Keelan Russell this summer for him to move? Yeah, Josh, Keelan Russell gets better and better every time we see him. He's younger for the cycle. He's a guy who's just continued to improve just incrementally over the course of the past two years. Led his team to a state title at Duncanville, back-to-back -back state champions in Texas's highest, highest classification. Goes out to the, to the Elite 11 Finals. Had a great showing out there. He's a guy who I think is continuing to get bigger, stronger, and just we're seeing his game mature. So I'm excited to watch him as a senior, but there was no doubt he was a riser after seeing him at the Elite 11. All right, Shamari Earls gets a bump. He was South Carolina's top recruit until he flipped to Georgia on Sunday. Shamari Earls moves up 50 spots. Why? Shamari Earls, I think, has some of the best physical traits at the position, uh, at, at the cornerback position this cycle. He runs about 6'2", 205, runs a 10, 800 meter, one of the top long jumps in the country. Uh, so just on paper, he is how you draw him up physically. He has really kind of reminds us of a lot of these highly drafted corners. But, but then you turn on the film, he has two-way production playing receiver and corner. Uh, so I think he has immense upside. And he's a guy who, if you're looking for a corner who can maybe crack into that tier one group, of, of, of DJ Pickett, Naeem Offer, Devin Sanchez. We're betting on Shamari Earls. Mm. All right. Now, LSU fans love this pickup. Defensive lineman Zion Williams committed to the Tigers about three days ago, and he was the biggest mover in yeah. your rankings update. He goes from unranked 
into the top 186. Why Zion Williams? Yeah, Zion Williams is a guy that we've always liked on film. We just wanted to get, know how big he was, and he is a big guy. He's close to six foot four, 330 pounds, uh, plus length, 34 and a half inch arms. And this is a guy who does a full split at that size. I mean, he is a flexible, nimble, big athlete. So I think he's just kind of a dancing bear on the inside, and one who is kind of a rare body type and just uh, really holds like a high value for for defensive coordinators. So uh, he's one that the more and more we learned about him, the more and more we liked him. All right, so what do we got left? About 10 more spots available, 18 more spots available for five stars? Yeah, so so we, we finished with 32 every cycle. Uh, we, we have 15 right now, okay, so, that's seven, so we have 17 more. Uh, and that's all to say, I mean, it's very fluid. Like these guys aren't necessarily locked into five stars, but going into the senior year, this is how we would, you know, mm -hmm. stack it up with the top 15. All right, let me know. Comment section below. Who do you guys think is going to be the next five-star recruit added to the rankings update? Let us know. Comment section below. Well, you've made it to the end of today's video, but there's hundreds more videos on the On3 Recruits channel for you to check out. And also, while you're here, hit subscribe.